Hi, today we're going to be talking about the Holocaust. Uh, the progression of discrimination towards uh, the Jews. So it's a slow progression. It wasn't something that just overnight happened. Uh, the Nazi party and Adolf Hitler seized power in 1933 and slowly began their systematic program against the Jews of Germany. Uh, in 1933, to give you an idea, there were just over half a million Jews living in Germany. Each new year in Germany led to harsher policies directed towards the Jews. So it wasn't like a giant step. It was a series of smaller steps that led to the, the, the Holocaust. In 1933, the Nazis boycott Jewish businesses. Uh, they issue a decree that defines what a non-Aryan is. And Hermann Goering here creates the, the Gestapo, which is a secret police Nazis have. And the first concentration camps are built. It is Dachau. 1934, Jews are not allowed to have national health insurance. So again, another small step against them. The SS is formed, and Hitler becomes their Fuhrer and receives a 90% approval rating for his people, from his people. So they obviously approved of what he's doing. 1935, the Nuremberg Race Laws. Okay. This defines what Jews were not allowed to do. Uh, not allowed to marry or have sex with Aryans, to hire Aryan women as maids, or have rights of citizenship. So they're kind of being placed as outcasts in their own country. 1936, the, FF, the SS uh, Death's Head Division is created to guard these camps. Heinrich Himmler here is appointed chief of the German police. 1937, <laughs> Jews are not allowed to teach German, so they're taken out of positions of power or influence. Uh, the Eternal Jew exhibit is opened up in Germany, and what this does is promotes the stereotypes of Jews and creates all sorts of hysteria uh, against them. 1938, uh, Nazi troops enter Austria. The League of Nations considers helping the Jews to, to flee Hitler, but no country really wants to take them in because they don't want the, pro the potential problems that could come with them uh, concerning Germany. Jews are not allowed to practice medicine, so again, positions of power and influence are taken away from them. 1939 uh, brings us Kristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass. Uh, this is the night where Jewish stores, shops, and synagogues are all burned down. It took place because a German official was killed in Paris by a Jew, so it's a different country altogether. They were just looking for a reason to, uh, to persecute the Jews here. November 9th, 1939. Uh, Poland, 1939. Uh, Nazis invade Poland and, and start World War II. 3.35 million Jews live in Poland. Uh, there's a forced labor decree issued and all, all Jews must wear a yellow star of David to identify him. Uh, I ask nothing of Jews except that they all should disappear. Uh, a, a quote attributed there to a Nazi official. 1940. German Jews are deported to Poland. So if you were a Jew inside Germany, you were shipped out of the country. Uh, the ghettos of Lotz, Krakow, and Warsaw are sealed off. So almost like a, uh, a house arrest inside the city for them. A total of 600,000 Jews inside these cities. <coughs> these ghettos will be liquidated starting in 1942, so they're going to be in there for almost two years. Uh, this is a picture of German soldiers rounding up Jews, uh, not using a, a gentle hand. 1941, the Nazis invade the Soviet Union. The uh, Soviet Union has a Jewish population of 3 million. The SS Einsatzgruppen follow advance of the army. Uh, and their job is to liquidate all communist officials and Jews that they see. Uh, they use the word liquidate because it just sounded easier and it was easier for the, the soldiers to, to deal with and go kill them. The Einsengruppen. Uh, this is the SS Special Action Group uh, formed by Reinhard Heinrich. 1.3 million Russian Jews are killed by the end of the war by these mobile killing units. So these are mobile killing units that would go in from town to town and their job was to liquidate uh, Russian Jews. There is a picture of Reinhard Heinrich, uh, nicknamed the Blonde Beast and the Hangman, uh, second command of the Gestapo and SS, and the principal planner of the final solution. He's uh, most often attributed to coming up with this plan. Uh, he was a brigadier general, so pretty high up in the uh, army, at, even at the age of 30. Here's Heinrich and the final solution. Uh, Europe would be combed of Jews from east to west, so the idea was to get rid of all of them. 
He ordered the Einstadts to round up and kill Jews in occupied countries. Uh, he is assassinated in 1942. Uh, Czech underground bo uh, agents bomb his car. The SS hunts down and kills anyone who's even related to a suspect uh, for the killing. The Czech town of Lydus is liquidated. In other words, it's eliminated because they conspired in this. And Hitler called himself the man with the iron heart. I'm sorry, Hitler called him the man with the iron heart. The final solution. Uh, this is the idea that the, the solution was to get rid of the Jews in Germany. Okay? There were three phases of the plan to wipe out the Jewish population in Europe. Phase one, shooting. Uh, the Jews were rounded up and told they were going to be relocated or taken somewhere else, and they would be taken off in the woods, and they'd be shot one by one and, poured in, and piled into mass graves here. Okay? Their bodies were burned almost often. We have phase two, the gas vans. These were mobile units in which uh, the vans would be taken from place to place. The Jews would be rounded up. They'd be placed inside the vans, and they would be executed. So basically, they'd just take the exhaust pipe, pump it back into the, the car, and it would kill the inhabitants. Often took quite a long time. Uh, the problems with phases one and two, which led to phase three, the Nazis encountered several problems here. Uh, the first, they were taking way too long. It, it, it took a long time to, to do this. It was small numbers. Second, the resources such as the gas and the bullets were becoming scarce. And they were shooting so many people that they were actually coming short of bullets. Third, the soldiers involved were beginning to have psychological problems. Uh, it doesn't matter how cold your heart is to shoot somebody in the head, especially innocent women and children, uh, a thousand, two thousand times is going to have a psychological effect on you. Phase three, the camps. Nazi leaders decided to speed up the final solution. Uh, two different kinds of camps. There were concentration camps and there were extermination camps. Jews from all over occupied Europe and, and were, Jews from all over occupied Europe were brought here. Uh, this is a map showing where most of the camps were. Uh, some of the major ones here, Treblinka, Auschwitz, uh, Buchenwald, there. Concentration camps, there were about a hundred of these in Europe. Prisoners were used for labor, they worked. Uh, they usually didn't last long, they were given short rations uh, or froze to death. Uh, communists, homosexuals, criminals, and social uh, Democrats, artists, all placed here. Opened the first one in 1933, right after they came to power. Auschwitz is one of the big ones here. Started in 1940. Uh, Auschwitz was the, the center for the final solution. Had four gas chambers and used Zyklon B gas. Okay. Zyklon B here is the gas. Uh, they would drop it from the top of the gas chamber and the people inside would die. Dr. Joseph Mengele is a uh, doctor that worked on Jews inside the camps. He performed all sorts of terrible uh, experimentation on them, uh, you know, trying to change eye colors, seeing how long someone could live on limited uh, clothing and cold weather, uh, surgery without anesthesia, those type of things here, sterilization. Uh, pain tolerance, all sorts of nasty things. Okay. Treblinka, another camp. They had 10 gas chambers east of Warsaw in Poland. The camp totals here. Uh, Auschwitz, they're going to total about a million and a half. Treblinka, almost about 800,000. And you can see here the totals of the other numbers here. Uh, we're well into the millions in just these camps. Okay. Here's the populations of the countries before and after the Holocaust. As you can see, they are absolutely decimated by the final solution. Hope this has been informative, and I encourage you to visit our other C-Tube sites. Thank you.